Hello and welcome to Scratch Theory Printing. In this video, my K2 Plus is clogged. So in this video, I'm going to be taking apart the extruder, the hotend, to see what is going on. Let's scratch today's topic. I've been printing with the K2 Plus for 3 to 4, maybe 5 months now, and I haven't had a clog yet, which is quite surprising for a 3D printer that had a heated chamber, printing with PLA, fully enclosed, no clog is pretty impressive but finding a clog for the k2 plus on a seven hour print it was just starting to print but then it got clogged but enough talking let's just go ahead and see what is causing the clog oh huh, this is surprising my cfs did not do its thing when starting up the k2 plus i think the reason why is there's still filament back in the hub behind the k2 plus so it didn't extrude and retract like it used to but let's just see as you can see right there, right, the bolting tube still has the filament in there, so that's a clog. Usually when you stop a print, it retracts, but it could not retract. So if this is your first time taking off the K2 Plus extruder, I got you. Just follow this video and be careful and take your time and you will be perfectly fine. First, what you want to do is, of course, take this cover off, which you can just pull it out and move the chain back a little bit, pull it out. It's being held on by magnets it's really cool so here is your hardened extruder so i don't know what's going on it did cut the filament in there but it still cannot retract so what i'm thinking is that it's not clogged here it's clogged on the extruder so i'm going to take off the extruder for the allen wrench it's going to be the second to the smallest one if you had the four what you need to do is take off this screw right here this screw right here and one of the screw back here so let's go ahead and take this off so on the side right here the screw is in there it's in the middle right there so it's right there that's the screw so that one is this type so don't get mixed up we should be able to remove this but it seems that the filament is stuck in there so let's see let's try yeah it seems that the filament is stuck in there hey there we go i just kind of pull it out and check that out check out the extruder gear and stuff like that seems that the clog is right here because i cannot spin this freely if there was no clog i can spin this freely and look at this this is a spur gear which is freaking amazing here is your tensioning tensioning knob here pushes this gear with this gear so that when the filament comes down it can extrude and retract so it looks like the filament is clogged in there what i'm gonna do is heat up my nozzle right now now what i'm gonna do is use this allen wrench the smallest one and push this thing down let's see if it works if it does not work then something here is clogged too so it's 220 c right now let's try okay it seems that something is clogged here too let's see if we can push this down okay it looks like we can a little bit but it's really hard to push down so maybe something is also stuck in there but i will worry about that later i'm gonna try and remove the boring tube if i can we look closely you can see the red filament right in there i'm gonna take this gear off take off this gear so pull off the shaft push this tensioning knob right here so that I freeze this a little bit. Let's see if I can push it from the other side. As you can see right there, the filament is stuck right in there. Okay, there we go. We push the gear from the back here while pushing this tensioning knob so that we can free this gear right here. This is gonna be the gear, your filament gear. The gear is gonna match together. Back here is gonna be the place where it holds the filament. And if we look right there, oh my gosh. The filament was like crunched up or melted and then got extruded up for whatever reason it's stuck in there. Can we get rid of it from here? If we can't, we have to remove this here too, which is going to be tough when putting it back in the spring. But you know what? I'm going to do it so that if this happens to you, you know exactly how to put it back. And don't do that. Like I said, the spring is super strong. So once you've done that, the spring should be right here. Don't lose the spring because if you lose the spring, it's going to be very bad. But whatever, I'm going to disassemble the whole thing and show you how to put it back together later on. Clock right here requires a full disassemble like this. And I can't even put up my 
boring tube so now i'm gonna try and cut off this filament right here oh my gosh this is so bad <laughs> so cut off the filament take it off piece by piece can we push it down cut this don't cut the plastic just cut your filament because if something else is ruined it's gonna be a very bad you're gonna have to replace the whole extruder cut that use your allen wrench and try and push the filament down if you can yes this bottom part can be pushed down so we just want to get rid of this clog or we can push it up whichever is easier there we go ah look at that we got rid of it now it's just the upper part can we put out this tube why is this so stuck in there i can't even put up my tube there we go just need a little bit of force and we actually put out the filament a bit wow look at how nasty that is wow wow and nope you everything is clear just to make sure i'm gonna use this and pull right through everything make sure everything is clear in there the main thing here is that you don't want to pop this out if you pop this out it's gonna be hard to put it back in which if you don't purposely do it it's not gonna pop out which is okay which is nice and here is another bearing looks like these doesn't really need any lubrication there's no lubrication so i'm not gonna put any lubrication in here because that might ruin so now i'm gonna show you how to put all these back together firstly we're gonna put the spring back because that's gonna be the hardest part and it's gonna be the crucial part so it's gonna sit in like that right so this is gonna sit in like this which you want to have the spring in there which is such a tight spot so what you want to do is put the spring in place here and then use this piece right here put the spring right there just like that put the spring at an angle like that so that you can push the spring in and then you push it in you push the tension knob use your other thumb push it down and push everything down while holding the piece so that the spring does not pop out and you just do that and the spring is going to go back in there what i do next is i use a bigger allen wrench and push the spring down so that it lines up with this screw hole right here and it's not going to go anywhere if you want to line up use a screw and screw this in so like this i'm going to use a screw and screw it in and if i cannot go in i'm going to use my allen wrench and push the spring down a little bit like this and then if i can screw the screw in all the way like this i know that my spring is in place and that is how you get your spring back in place now that we have this first gear the spring and the knob tension knob in place next is i'm going to install the second gear make sure you install the white part right here in like this this is going to be the part where it holds onto the filament and then the gear from behind so we just put it in it's gonna go in like that and now we're gonna install the rod push all the way in the extruder gear right here it's just gonna go in right there and look at that like i said if we cannot spin this it means that there's a clog but if there's no clog it spins very smoothly which is so cool now that we got this solved let's check over here let's see what's going on with our hot end something that you might want to consider doing but now i don't really recommend this but you can heat up an allen wrench or something that is heat resistant kind of and you can heat it up you can push it from this hole up here hold it to the filament so that the filament is stuck on your allen wrench or whatever you heat up just hold it there for a second so that it's cool down the filament is stuck onto your head and the wrench and then you can try and pull it out but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna take out this hot end and see what is going on for taking apart hot end a tweezer is a really good tool because you can just use a tweezer and just pry this thing down okay so now that it's cooled down a little bit i'm gonna try and take off this so what i'm gonna do now is take off these two screws so that I can take off the heat sink. If you have some magnet, it's gonna be really easy to take these out. If they don't want to come out, magnet is really amazing. You still need to take off 
these top two screw here, the hot end can come out. Use your magnets. You can pull this down and this whole thing will come off. Wow. So let's take off this silicone. This is a good time to check if your hot end is leaking. Wow, look at my silicone. <laughs> Looks like some filament has been leaking in there. So nasty. Man, my hot end is so nasty now. I might have to replace this soon. But it seems that we can't really do anything at this point. So what I'm gonna do next is put everything back and then heat up, try to unscrew the nozzle and see if it comes off and then we can clean the rest of the hot end. This nozzle right here takes a six millimeter socket. Oh, it is very nasty. I will buy a new nozzle and I will install the nozzle and I will make another video of how to install nozzle which is quite simple i like how the hot end key tool is directly bolted into the heatsink and everything is secured so that you don't need to hold this upper part in order to unscrew this you can just unscrew this like this it is so so much better so much easier as you can see there it's really really long there's no filling up here so we can't even pull that out so, not quite sure what we can do here. Then I realized that this whole thing is stuck together. So, there's nothing much we can do here. And the film is way too long for us to use a heated push because that is just gonna melt up like this much. It's not gonna go all the way through. Okay, our best bet for this type of nozzle like this is just let the extruder extrude and see if that works. Tighten this up. At this point, I'm gonna reinstall the extruder here. So, how to reinstall the extruder is you just line it up in place, push this extruder back in until it's seated all the way in, and you hit a little click like that. <laughs> now we can put in the screw back. The longest screw is gonna go here. The smallest screw is gonna go on the side. This one is usually the hardest one to put back. There we go. Do not over tight and then the medium screw is gonna go on top here clean this up a little bit put it back make sure you hit a click and now we can try and extrude this and see if it works the motor is spinning and you can hear that click you can see the motor is stuck the filament is stuck in the nozzle so which is kind of fortunate luckily i remembered that K2 Plus come with an extra nozzle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install this nozzle. Let's go. To install the nozzle, what we need to do is remove the silicone block like we just did earlier. Just unscrew. Ouch. Yeah, look how nasty that is. Look at that, compared to the new one, oh my gosh. It is so, so much different. Yeah, this looks so pretty. Now we're just gonna install it back. Put it up here and slowly screw it back in. I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm just gonna estimate it. Just like one hump. Ah, there we go. That is good. The silicone back. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and extrude. Okay, let's see. The motor spinning. No clicking. And... Yeah, voila! Look at that. It's coming out really nicely. Woohoo! Nozzle fixed. That's amazing. And that is how you fix a clog extruder and nozzle. Oh, and just look at this. With one problem, I need to bring out so much tool just to fix one stuff. And there you go. That's how you fix a jam nozzle and or extruder. In this case, it's both, which is not surprising and surprising at the same time. Ever since I bought the K2 Plus printing with it, I never changed the nozzle, never look at the extruder, and it's pretty good. And I did not change the nozzle up until right now, which is clogged. And just look at how nasty the nozzle is already. Even this copper right here has turned to a different color. Maybe that's just thermal paste, which the other one does not have any thermal paste. So hopefully that's not gonna cause a problem. But look at this, the copper coated thing is 
change into black rusty thing so bad just need change so i changed the nozzle fixed the jam in the extruder for whatever reason the filament was melted and then retract back but if you look at the length of this thing how would that even be possible because it only retract a little bit like 0.6 millimeter so that's like so small but how did the extruder up here even get that weird clog and that melted filament doesn't really make sense if you know let me know in the comments down below how that how is that be possible oh look at this i didn't like know this but creality <laughs> look at that you can see that creality has the name logo printed into the nozzle wow really really cool but that'll be it for this video of me showing you how to unclog the k2 plus either it's an extruder or replacing the nozzle well i guess that video is not going to come out since i already replaced it two in one video amazing and how to disassemble the extruder and how to put it back together leave a comment down below if you still have any questions leave a like on this video if it helps you subscribe to the channel because more amazing video like this is coming all the time thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing